Hey y'all. So, y'all haven't seen me in probably a week or so now. Um, I do want to give y'all an update on what's going on. It's actually a blessing that I'm sitting here in the lights. Uh, a lot of you who've been with me for a while uh, know that my channel is pretty new. And I have a lot going on. I mean, I post stuff about random, you know, I'm not a, a YouTuber by no means. But, um, I really do appreciate those of you that have stuck it out with me and just kind of saw my everyday life. Um, so we were severely affected by Hurricane Michael. And what's so crazy is my youngest brother is named Michael. And he actually was in Panama City for a long time. And those of you that know, it come up from the Gulf of Mexico, it demolished uh, Mexico Beach and Panama City, and then it came up through southwest Georgia, it hit Albany, which is my hometown, and Leesburg, which is where I live. And um, we just kind of have this joke that, uh, you know, Michael said he didn't want to go back to Panama City, but he didn't have to tear it up. So that's kind of a, you know, a little, a little light thing that me and my family have, you know. But, uh... On another note, we just got power after five days. Uh, so yeah, it's been it's been rough. You know, I mean, we've we've done it before. We've camped, we've you know all that stuff. But I mean, we've never just been without power, without water, without food. You know, I mean, it's just me and my husband and my little dogs, and it was it was unreal. I mean, honestly, I felt like we we're in the purge. Y'all, I've seen some stuff that I never thought I'd see. I've seen looters and scammers and people that have come here from out of state to take advantage of all these people who have nothing now. I didn't know. You know, like you always hear about this stuff on the news, but you never think you're going to get it. And then we did. We, uh... We kind of like bunk down in, you know, one of my friend's buildings, you know, I, I don't want to go into detail with that, but, you know, we kind of, you know, bunkered down in that, you know, we had our supplies, we had some food, some water, you know, we thought we'd be cool, and, you know, we just ride out the storm, about uh, 8 o'clock, no, about 7 o'clock that night, the rain started, and this went on for almost six hours, and about 8.30, the power went out, and we're just kind of like, what? And, I mean, we're a huge building. It's pitch black. We can't hear nothing but banging and swaying and and boom and glass breaking. And, I mean, my God. I got some videos of it. I mean, the videos don't do justice to what we saw. And, man, y'all, at 10 o'clock, we started seeing people breaking in. Not where we were, but they were across the street. I mean, we started seeing flashlights, glass breaking, my God, you know, these people are out in hundred and something mile winds and they're out there breaking into places, stealing stuff. So then, uh, about 1230, we packed up, decided to come on back here to Leesburg. Man, I tell you what, we live in a mobile home, as y'all can tell, you know, a lot of y'all know these walls and, uh. Man, we come around that corner, and we thought we were going to be a sardine can. Thank God above, we ain't. You know, our home is still here. There was a limb through the kitchen. I'll show you all that in a minute. We took it out, but there's still a big hole. And uh, we lost 90% of our shop, which it's a big uh, 60 by 80 shop on a concrete slab. Man, that thing's steel and tin, and, you know, I mean, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty sturdy. Not for two huge, well, I don't know, 75, 80 foot oak trees. What? It didn't. No. Mm -mm, mm -mm, gone. All my husband's equipment, lawn care stuff, that's how he makes money. I mean, everything. We lost it all. All my sentimental stuff, all my, you know, all of our. Anything that wasn't inside the house was there, and we lost it. We lost our dog pens. Uh, you know, I mean, luckily my dogs are still fine. You know, they're down there chilling. Um, you know, 
I mean, yeah, I'm, I'll admit, you know, about a day later, I had myself a pity party. I cried for about an hour. I didn't want to come home. I didn't want to see it. I mean, if it were daytime outside, I'd show y'all what it looks like. I'll be showing y'all probably tomorrow. Um, we can't even get to it. We can't get to anything. You know, there's two big trees on it. There's more trees out there that are uprooted that are probably going to fall over. They've called in the National Guard. We had to go get MREs. You know, I mean, man, God, the next day, you know, talk about, like, trying to scrounge to find somewhere that was open to get gas and cigarettes. And, uh, you know, look, I'm thankful just to have a cold Dr. Pepper at that point. Luckily, I got one now. But, I mean, I'm just thankful to have that. You really don't know what you got until it's not available to you. When you just can't walk in, you know, walk outside and go to the store, go to Walmart. Like right now, our city has a curfew. Everybody, Everything closes down at 9. I'm not used to that. I'm used to being at Walmart at 2 o'clock in the morning. Y'all cannot close at 9 o'clock. So, something got to happen. But, I mean, there's still power lines down. I mean, just destroyed. Our town got hit by two tornadoes 20 days apart. I want to say two years ago. I believe it was 2016. I think. Something. January of 2016 or 17. I can't remember. And that tore up Albany. But this time, Albany and Leesburg got hit. And, you know I mean? Talk about riding by and seeing somebody with a tree straight down the middle of their house like my god and now i know fa i know florida got hit a lot worse than we did i do understand that my heart goes out to them i mean i don't know what to say you know what i mean i understand i i just can't believe it you know so many things that we know and love that can be taken away so quick. I mean, just with a gust of wind, your life can change. That kind of puts things into perspective. Just the thought of my parents being 45 miles away from me and, you know, the cell phone tower's not working, the internet's not working, we don't have a way to charge our cell phones, you know, so many little things that we have every day that we don't understand that can be taken away in the blink of an eye. And sometimes I sit here and I think about, you know, all I want to do is just watch a movie or, you know, whatever, just something simple like that. And then to come back to my home and say, wait, I can't do that. I can't watch a movie. I can't even turn the light. I'm having to walk with candles everywhere. Man, just being thankful just to have a light on. And have a, you know, a cool room to sleep in. I mean, my God, talk about sweating to death. South Georgia, it's brutal. We're close to the equator, y'all. But, um, I guess in the end, I just want to say I'm thankful that I'm here. I'm thankful that I'm alive. I'm safe. I mean, I've got scratches everywhere and bruises and, you know, I mean, I'm... I don't know if y'all can see that. I have a pretty good bruise right there. I got stuff going on in my neck, you know, just trying to get in the house, scratched up, you know, bleeding. But in the end, we're going to make it. We're still here. We're still alive. Michael didn't take us down, y'all. And uh, that's just like for Florida, you know, a lot of those people have come up here and what really made my heart just jump to my throat is I saw three power trucks, like the linemen, you know, that fix all our power. I saw three trucks from Florida today. And yeah, it makes you get kind of emotional, man. Just knowing these guys, their own state is tore all to hell on the panhandle, but they're up here helping us. That'll really show you some stuff. So I just want y'all to know I'm still here. I'm still kicking. I'll show y'all the damage tomorrow. And, uh,
everything that we lost, it's only material. We will get it again. That was what, you know, killed me when I had my little pity party. You know, we've worked so hard for everything that we have. You know, we're not rich people. We live paycheck to paycheck. We barter and trade. We make do with what we have. And we're just trying to make a dollar, you know, make it stretch as far as we can. You know, we both thrift shop, you know, we don't we don't live extravagant. We just want to pay our bills and get by. Maybe eat a decent Mexican food meal every now and then because we love the food truck. But, uh, man, when those things get taken away from you, you just don't. You know, and, and was, <laughs> just like, for instance, we couldn't get paid Friday because we had no power for my boss to see how many hours that we worked for him to cut our checks. So payday rolled around and you know, we can't get paid. You know, I mean, just stuff like that, man. You don't know. Some people just don't know how much something like electricity and food and water affect your everyday life until you don't have it. So you can't just walk into Walmart and say, my God, I just, you know, I just want something. <laughs> when that, when water turns into a need, I mean, I understand, yes, we need it to survive, but my water is usually mixed with Dr. Pepper and, you know. In the end, we're strong. We're strong people around here. We got tore up once. This is our second time getting tore up. We'll come back even stronger next time. So all my people out there that are in South Georgia, just know I'm right there with you. And we're going to come back. We always do. And everyone out there that you know, hasn't seen the devastation. All I can say is just send your prayers down here. Send your guardian angels because Lord knows we need them. We need all the manpower we can get just to try to rebuild our little town. So, in the end of my rambling, I'm going to let y'all go and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm going to be posting more of the, uh, more of the damage. So, Y'all will get to see what it did, you know, at least to me. I'll let y'all later. Bye, y'all.